Hello, this is Michael McGinn, and this is the January 3rd, 2016, uh, screencast of the Web Applications Programming Technology Users Group, and uh, this is the start of our new series of podcasts from our meetings that we have at the first Sunday of every month from 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. Um, at down at Tully's in uh, Canyon Park um, in Bothell at the Canyon Park Plaza Tully's we meet there and we invite you to uh, come to the next one and uh, be a part of the group so uh, today we're going to learn all about WordPress and in doing so we're going to go through and do some uh, review of a project that uh, I've been working on to illustrate how to turn your WordPress into a book selling e-commerce website so I'll go ahead and uh, pull up our browser that we're going to be using we'll be using Internet Explorer uh, the new edge browser just to uh, make sure that uh, everyone using um, and viewing these videos would be able to experience the same thing um, we'll, see, we'll look at it in other, other browsers too uh, just so you can kind of see if there's any differences but we'll go ahead and uh, get into that now so let's go view the uh, the main site um, that is our club website and that is at waptug.com This is our uh, blog network that you can become a member of and uh, spin up a free website blog system on our system. And some of the main features that we offer here are uh, with your subscription to the site, uh, you can spin up uh, one blog of your own in our network and experiment with the techniques and stuff that we uh, go over during our meetings and for those of you that uh, want to get into actual learning how to code things we also provide a um, a web based integrated development environment uh, which allows you to code And so you can do it from right here. It doesn't give you a lot of screen room uh, to do so, but um, kind of just lets you see the, the the interface and stuff like that. Things in here. Uh, but when you want to go and actually get some coding work done, click to the full screen version of it, and you have for yourself an online uh, development uh, coding environment. For example, here uh, everyone can sign in as a guest just to kind of play around uh, to, to see if you like the interface and uh, want to request a actual membership that you can log into it with and um, not have any um, and have your own project that you can work on. So over here we have the file explorer and we'll click on the sample index file. So this gives you a HTML file, um, for example, that you could work on. So you can go in here and any of the guests that come here can add something to it just to say they were here. And you'll notice that this uh, tab turns green with a line here that lets you know that you've made a change to it uh, that you should save. And so there you go. It tells you you have saved the file. And you have a number of other uh, things here that you can utilize. It just pops out, pops back in. And these are your projects that you have access to. When you uh, get your own membership, as you create projects, you'll have access to them. Um, you can write really any kind of code you want over here. Um, it's so primarily it is a web-based um, 
environment, so web scripting languages such as JavaScript, PHP, um, HTML, CSS are the primary things it's designed for. But you can use it for uh, working on um, other code. Uh, it just doesn't have any facilities to do any kind of compiling, so C++, C Sharp, and so forth uh, wouldn't uh, be able to be compiled on here. Because this is uh, primarily focused on the Linux, Apache, MySQL, PHP stack called the LAMP stack. And so, like, here is a sample uh, PHP file that uh, does some stuff. And um, so, once you've uh, created your files over here, if you want to actually see them work, you can uh, right click on your mouse when you're hovering over the file name and click on preview and it will open up a window for you and uh, it will show you what your uh, program code does so these have some errors in them but anyways um, you could do that on the index preview go up here to your tab and there you go see yeah, whatever And then if you wanted to create a new file, right-click on the file folder you want to create the file in, click on New File. You can also upload files as a zip file if you want to, and then uncompress them, um, extract them, or just create a new file or a new folder. If you try and create a file that already exists, it'll let you know. So it creates that for you and opens up a tab for you to start editing. And you can start editing here. So it's uh, code completion and uh, code highlighting and it'll uh, color code your code based on uh, the rules of the language that you're coding in. And preview that. And hello. So there you go. So that is the, uh, the main feature of um, WAPTUG is once you join, you get access to this tool, and then during the meetings, um, you can bring your code sample ideas, and we can discuss them at the, the meetings and help you work on your projects. So with that, then we'll move to the project that I wanted to show you all today. Um, that is a new project that I've been working on. Um, holiday, CashProfitGenerationSystems.com. So I registered this domain name. Uh, through our sponsor, uh, GeekZoneHosting.com, and s set up some uh, hosting, s some shared hosting space uh, that uh, you can all take advantage of if you want your own hosting space. And so, what this is is a WordPress website that is dedicated to selling uh, a, a number of um, publications that. Uh, I've helped develop um, and then um, make it available to folks. So this kind of illustrates uh, the things that a uh, WordPress site can be created to do for you. Um, and then uh, we'll go through how we did this today. So what I've done is uh, created a WordPress 4.4 uh, site, the most current, the most current version of uh, WordPress uh, as of uh, this video, and uh, I'm using the default uh, 2016 theme, which uh, gets installed by default uh, when you install WordPress, and created some content, uploaded some uh, plugins that uh, facilitate the sales and uh, Downloads of ebooks, so um, 
different formats of ebooks uh, that you might want to create uh, products in, uh, including PDF, uh, Mobi, uh, text files, and or packages of, of files like zip files can be uh, sold through uh, this site. Um, I have a few up here already. One of them is this uh, holiday cash profit generation systems uh, book that I'm marketing through the site. And this uh, plug-in uh, space here um, gives you, uh, without programming, any, any programming required, uh, gives you the, this interface that you can click on details and you can fill in the text that would show up here. And it's got a buy button for you there. It's a, and then you've also got a preview that'll pop up. And these previews can be uh, a PDF, and you can you know, you use whatever you want. But basically, what I've done is taken some of the information and uh, that that that's in the book and put it into a PDF, a 28-page preview of, of of the book. And then there's always the buy button that will integrate with a mailing list manager so that you could collect an email from your visitors. And submit, and then that will add to a list for you. And then it will spin off out to PayPal and then allow uh, the purchase to be completed. Now I'm not going to actually do that, but I'll just go back to the site, and it goes back to a landing page uh, whenever they cancel the order. And this is all customizable here. And then uh, I have some links to okay. So then you so then. The, I've also got some uh, links here to some affiliate books that uh, I market. Um, so these are uh, click out to Amazon for purchase. It's also connected to a HTML landing page that I've created. This is external to uh, WordPress. It's uh, just the, the, the sales page and so forth. And then it just links back into the WordPress page here. Um, I've included some videos from YouTube and some ad copy here and the affiliate links at the bottom and some share buttons that allow you to share it to the various po the various social networks and um, this is a membership site so it's based on um, a plugin that allows you to uh, sell access to a WordPress site and protect uh, the content of your website and make it available to the members who have paid uh, for access to the various levels of your website. So in, in our website we have the public access pages which are for people that haven't uh, subscribed, um, haven't paid for access to them, the site, um, and then two other, two other levels. Um, which they can purchase and then it gives them access to download uh, reports that we will be publishing to the site and the download memory the free public downloads is displayed here because there's this is I'm a public person so I haven't logged into the site yet I don't have a membership on the site so all I have access to is just the free public downloads so this is that same plugin that um, is there, but it's, since it's uh, on a download 
uh, area of the site. I don't have a purchase button. It's just available for download. So folks can go there and it collects their email again. That lets me know that they are here. Um, and then uh, they download it and it will go to their um, their uh, So uh, it's downloading, it's done, and you can go view the download. Um, yeah, this also has a, a widget uh, for WordPress that allows uh, you to build your mailing list uh, with folks that subscribe to the, the site itself. So whenever I would post a new uh, a blog post, Anyone that was subscribed to this list would get an uh, alert that they uh, they had a new uh, blog post that they could come look at on the site. Um, and so, there's categories, so course offerings. Um, You click on register, it takes you to a site that uh, we've got to fix here because we don't have it for free open registration. Um, however, if you've subscribed, takes you to uh, PayPal that you can purchase access. There's notice level one membership fee, dollar. And uh, then you can complete your purchase with your PayPal account or with a debit card or prepaid gift card, whatever. Um, or go back. And so now let's say I wanted to log in. So I'm logging in as a administrator. So I'll have access to all the content. I can either log in with my WordPress account or log in with uh, my regular account. So once I log in, then it takes me to the back end of the site, the administration part of the site. And <clears throat> then I can access things here. But I'm going to go up to the front page of the site, right click on this and open in a new tab. So we can see what's going on on the front when you're logged in as the administrator. Now you'll notice that the download library now has all of the tabs that are available. This is uh, displayed because you're logged in as uh, whatever membership uh, you had purchased at, or if you're the admin of the site, you'd see all of all of the things that you set up here. Um, so you've got access to the download the level one and level two uh, download uh, levels, level two and so forth. And so now you can just download it for free because you've paid for the membership to access this page, which uh, allows you to download that report without paying for the report itself. You're just paying for the access to the area of the website that has this report on it, and um, so forth. And then level one membership download gives you another free report here uh, that you have access to this area. And you also have access to a calendar that you could download. Um, so that in a nutshell is, is, is the, the way that works. So now we'll go back to the back end to see what kind of uh, plugins were used. So I'm using Jetpack, 
which is uh, I recommend for most sites. It's made by Automatic, which is the uh, um, corporate that uh, corporation that creates uh, WordPress for you. Um, and they run WordPress.com, which is a uh, huge multi-site network of uh, WordPress blogs that they uh, they operate uh, as their money generator, uh, one of their money generation um, systems. Um, and this ebook store is the uh, uh, plugin that allows me to sell the ebooks. And then I'm using uh, S2 Member, which is the membership tool. Um, that uh, allows me to sell subscriptions to the content of the website. And then the other plugins. So I'm using EasyWP SMTP, which allows uh, me to uh, uh, work with my SMTP uh, mail uh, program. Uh, better than uh, the, the standard PHP uh, email uh, routines. Uh, I'm running the limit login attempts that keeps uh, brute force attacks on the site um, to a minimum. It basically blocks uh, access to the site after you've failed your login uh, a certain number of times. Um, I'm using um, Mailgun for validating the email addresses so that they're formatted right and actually are, are real email addresses. The S2 member framework, um, the SB welcome email editor, which allows you to define a email that is sent to people that register on the site uh, and include an uh, attachment in that email. And I'm using the uh, web, uh, the WP REST API um, that uh, I'm not using uh, any of those features uh, on the site yet, but will be as we develop this site out. Uh, allows me to write some uh, custom code with uh, other JavaScript and frameworks like uh, Angular JS and uh, other uh, JavaScript uh, jQuery and so forth. And also, this will allow me to uh, expose the data inside of the um, WordPress website. Um, in a programmatic way uh, to other front ends. I might write another, uh, some kind of a, uh, a billing application or something or whatever that I'd want to give uh, it access to the uh, internals, uh, data and the posts and the pages and stuff like that in a program programmatic way. So there you go. That's, uh, that's how we've got this new website set up. And um, come attend our next meeting, and uh, we'll give uh, we'll have help you set set up your website uh, to sell ebooks, because that's primarily uh, the the majority of what WordPress sites are are built to do uh, is content management and uh, content marketing. So you write some blog posts related to something that's uh, of your niche market. And then you have a PDF uh, ebook for sale, um, or links out to affiliate uh, uh, marketing sites such as Amazon or um, ClickBank, or you know, there's a, a zillion uh, affiliate sites that you can um, join up and, and be an affiliate for. Um, that helps to uh, generate some in income from your your sites. Uh, traffic that click on them and then purchase. All right. Well, um, so this is our our main um, uh, club website, informational website that you should also visit, waptug.org. It's our resource site. As I as we find resources uh, for training and so forth, uh, we come across and then we'll uh, add them to the menuing system up here. And this is also where you can reserve your spot for the upcoming meetings. Um, if you want, uh, we, if you'd like to sponsor our meetings, uh, and you'll get the opportunity to present your uh, your marketing-focused presentation to the group. Um, you can sponsor a copy for everybody at the group and uh, have 15 minutes to uh, present. Um, otherwise, uh, just attending the meetings are free.
and just I just ask that you uh, click on here to reserve your, your tickets. Um, we have uh, access to various code web-based IDEs. Um, this is a link to our blog, uh, a link to some hosting services that uh, we use, uh, GeekZone Hosting and uh, uh, Chunk Host is the ones that we recommend. Um, these two are affiliate links, so if you do click on them, uh, they'll generate revenue for uh, the club to use. Uh, fun links. Um, there's a, a, an a Arena 5 uh, game uh, that we host on uh, one of our sites. Uh, and some uh, cool things, Vetco Electronics, if you're into gadgets and stuff like that. It's a cool site to go uh, take a look through their catalog. Uh, code Fight is a neat uh, way to test your coding skills. A number of industry resource links here uh, for you to take a look at. And some training resources for you to start training yourself how to code. And then uh, what we do here is we have our feed, uh, my uh, Twitter tweets that I tweet. Anytime I tweet, it'll go out here to this. Um, and then our uh, Facebook page, the Next Generation IT Club, which is um, our college uh, arm of the club. And we have uh, our 3D cube rotating uh, user interface here, kind of a fun little thing to play with. <laughs> we <Whee. laughs> so anyways, yeah, kind of fun to play with that. Uh, and you can get the source for that um, through D Cube right here. Um, it's all based on CSS and some JavaScript going on in the background, so it's kind of a fun little thing that I integrated with the, the site here. And this is our link list of uh, some of the, the, the web projects that our members have uh, put up. And uh, a little form here, you can add yours to the list here if you want to. And then this is our, uh, our church arm of uh, the, the club. Um, we're out at uh, East Lake Community Church here in Bothell. Uh, this is the the group uh, that meets from that that we uh, invited to, to come over and join our group here on sun, on Saturdays. This is uh, their Google group that you can uh, jump into and be part of uh, which with your Google Google account. Well, okay, great then. You uh, have a great day and uh, come back soon. All right, this has been Michael McGinn with. Uh, WAPTUG.org and the Web Applications Programming Technology Users Group. You have a good day.